Well, bad vibes, boys and girls. No, I can do that better. Bad vibes, boys and girls. No, I gotta work on my Pee Wee Herman. Bad vibes, boys and girls. My kids are sleeping. Okay, so I gotta be a little quiet. This was supposed to be a Monday powwow, but now it's a Tuesday powwow because it is 12-12 um, on 9-13-2016. Today was a weird day, okay? I had a meeting that was set up um, at, <clears throat> at the church, and we were supposed to talk about, like, what do we pray with? What, what do we use? And I had it all set, you know? The one thing I never, ever take off my body is my brown scapular, which is, <clears throat> it was from, um, inspired, I guess you could say, um, by, um, Our Lady of Mount Carmel to St. Simon Stock in the 13th century. And what is a brown scapular, if you don't know? Um, it is uh, something that Roman Catholics wear. Not everybody wears it. And it is believed um, for several things um, to protect you from danger, um, that you will only spend a week in uh, purgatory, some people say, and also um, that Mary will be with you and that you won't be damned, basically. But it is a very protective item, and so much so that it's encouraged to just give it to non-Catholics as well, just because it is known to be a very protective item, a very healing item, and something that connects you to Mother Mary. And I am a big advocate of being connected to Mother Mary, whether you're Catholic or not, um, because she's just so awesome. And she's humble. She's like the very um, opposite of what today's woman is supposed to be. Um, she, you know, she ain't no Kim Kardashian. Sorry, Kim. I know you have a kid named St. West. But she's humble, and she didn't go around parading, oh, I'm awesome. She had to go through a lot of trials and tragedy and, you know, just her various um, apparitions around the world. It's just something to relate to. And even, um, you know, from the Protestant de <clears throat> denominations that I've been in, where we're like, oh, Mother Mary, yeah, whatever, she gave birth to Christ. You got to think about it. If if Jesus was truly obedient to, um, to love, he would love his mom, right? Like, he'd have a good relationship with her. She'd be cool. He wouldn't pick a mom who was, like, crazy. Um, maybe crazy in a good way, but not, like, Ugh, Dr. Phil crazy. So anyway, brown scapular. Never take it off my body. There is this little rainstorm that, that came up, you know, a little bit of lightning. And I was headed to my church meeting. A transformer exploded, like, right over my shoulder. Basically, if I'm looking in this direction... It wasn't too far away from me. I was like the closest car to it. And of course it made me shake. It was just, ugh. And I just got in my head like, okay, that wasn't an accident. I don't know why it would explode in such light rain. But the worst thing for me is because I have always had a fear of car accidents. And the stoplights, like, stopped working, and they went to red. And, of course, the people on the main street didn't care about the people like me coming from the side street. So I had to navigate my way um, with, like, heavy traffic, heavy traffic to me. So I get to the church, and it's time to pull out what you pray with. The brown scapular is not on my body. I can't find the brown scapular anywhere. 
This makes no sense to me. I never take it off. I'm looking through my laundry, trying to like not obsess about it, but I'm kind of obsessing about it. I mean, um, it's like Dorothy in her red shoes. Like if she doesn't have it, uh, I mean, I guess in the end they're like, oh my dear, you had the power all along. But yeah, without my brown scapular, I definitely feel really, really odd. So I'm saying some extra rosaries tonight. Um, and the rosary, I mean, the brown scapular, which is my current topic, um, is said to protect you from danger. And in fact, um, let me see, I'm reading this website right now. And it was talking about in um, 1955, a plane carried 27 passengers and it crashed in Guatemala. All of the passengers died except for one girl. She related that when the plane was going down, she clutched her scapular and cried out to Our Lady for help. She was burnt and her clothes were tattered and burnt as well, but the girl was overall unharmed and her scapular free from any burns. And this is credited to stpeterslist.com. Um, and St. Don Bosco or St. John Bosco, um, he was so into the brown scapular that there's this story that like, um, I guess devils or demons or even the devil himself like hissed at him and said, why don't you ever take off that brown scapular? So yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, if I definitely go to sleep with it out. So this is my little paper one. It's just a little paper fabric one. Always keep one in in handy. Um, but I do give them away. I give them away when people need spiritual protection. Um, and one of the saints I call on is Saint Padre Pio, which will be covered in a later video. But you know, pray for me. Send me some good vibe, good vibes, because that is really bad vibes, boys and girls. Now I sound like Barney. See, see what happens when I don't have my brown scapular. All right, see you in orbit. Bye.